beat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gender Vendor. Sorry about Saturday. Oh, excuse me. As you may or may not know, on Twitter I specifically said what the problem was. Said problem in detail. The fair, the county fair, has just started this week. Literally that Saturday. So I suspect that the internet going down, given that it was bright and sunny that day, and the fact that we basically don't have internet that goes through like a wire underground or anything, we have we have we don't live in town, so we have no choice but to go through basically wireless internet, but like a TV broadcast kind of wireless. So we have a dish that sends it out to a broadcast tower and brings it back again, and that's how our internet works. But I suspect that due to everybody arriving for the fair and all that, that the internet decided to take a dump on itself yesterday. And then at around noon, I'm just like, okay, fuck this, I'm going to the fair, which is my plan to begin with. I was hoping to get at least a couple videos done before then, but nope, internet says nope. So I figured I might as well record the explanation and wait until the day after, assuming that I didn't go to a swap meet, which is why I said might not be any Sunday either. I might have spent all day at a swap meet, but there's, we were gonna have to travel three and a half hours for maybe four hours of not doing much of anything. Not really worth the effort. One hour is one thing, but three and a half in one direction, and then three and a half in another direction to come back home. Not worth the effort on a Sunday. Just not worth the effort. On the plus side though, it's finally getting cold enough to where I don't have to use my fan. I just have to wear a sweatshirt instead. Eventually it might get cold enough to where I have to use my space heater. Hmm. But nonetheless, we last left off with Alion about to say hello to her new boss. Or is, it the, or is this the interview? I don't care. Either way, we last left off with Alion walking into her new job just a little bit early because that's what you do. And she's about to say hello. So, here we go. While well, arriving exactly on time, like I've said a thousand times before, is just, you don't do that. You don't arrive on time, you get to work on time. You, you start working at the time that the thing says to do so. Also, I do have a little bit of a problem with the top of my mouth at the moment. I must have burned it when eating pizza, pizza or something last night, so... You'll hear me drinking from my cup of water if I can avoid you hearing it. That will be preferred, but if you do hear something, that's probably what that is. Just to keep the mouth hydrated. <laughs> well, let's face it, we don't know what he puts in those nachos. <laughs> Alian knows, but we don't know. Not to mention the fact that you actually have to have a certain level of, you know, fashion sense. <laughs> I have none of that. Next thing you know, Natara walks in and is just like, Hey, how are you doing at your new job? <laughs> or someone like Dina walks in and is just like, Quick, I, ha I got someone pregnant last night. Or something dumb like that. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> just random thoughts. Okay, let's see how this rolls. Don't forget to smile. 
Try not to stress them out by saying that, by the way. It's not a terrible slogan, in my personal opinion. Why is this still on the sticky note? Get rid of this. For those who don't know, that was just me trying to spell Natara backwards at some point. Oh my god, there she is. What'd I say? What did I say? There she is. What did I say? Hey, how are you doing? It's your job, says Natara as she walks in. What did I say? I am freaking good at this. <sighs> uh-huh. Natara, why do you need a wedding dress? Why do I get a bad feeling? That is pretty massive though, but to be fair with considering what you're buying. I'm surprised it covers friends. Usually stuff like that would maybe cover yourself and and maybe family. Well, here's the thing, Alion. In theory, you're only gonna buy a maximum of three dresses with said discount. <laughs> Natara sees price tag drops dead e instantly. <laughs> I don't know about other places in the world, but in the U.S., bridal dresses can be around five thousand dollars if you get a half decent one. My grandmother tends to watch shows where they try to sell people a dress, and they can go upwards of ten to fifteen thousand U.S. dollars. Now keep in mind, those are for the really fancy ones. So around average, if you're going for the everyday person's wedding, you're probably going for one for at least $3,000. So how do you stay profitable? I don't know. How do car companies stay po profitable by giving you their employee discount on certain days? They don't make money by selling you the car. <laughs> they make money by getting you to walk in and say, I have this problem with the car, please fix it. Hey, remember that thing about Natara wanting to be a dude? <laughs> remember how that's supposedly still a thing? So let me get this straight here. Customers are walking in and saying the same things that they say, for example, to boxers, to Lolita, and to that weird store with the scale. Why would they walk in here if they're not trying to buy a dress? Or at least inquire about what prices are, this and that. If they're not walking in here specifically to buy a dress, or to look at the dresses that are being sold, why are they walking in here? I can only imagine what Natara put in those bags. I can only imagine. Oh shit! Where'd this outfit come from? The 
Tara, did you pay for rent yet? A year or so? What the hell? Oh, right, 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 right. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Just remembered. It's only been a day or two, but I just remembered. Well, at least the two of you are enjoying it. Oh god. I just thought something really creepy. I know I've probably made this joke before, but what if Dan and Fred had a kid? Would it be really tiny? Or would it be really freaking huge when it grew up? Or would it somehow balance out? Because think about it. What if she? What if it's a girl, but it ended up? But she ended up like Fred, so she literally became like an Amazonist or a bodybuilder or something crazy, and yet still had a really good singing voice at the same time. That would just be bizarre. And then Dina gets in on it, but whatever, because <laughs> you know she will. Oh God, Aunt Dina! Oh my God, what did I do? Why did I just say that out loud? Oh my God, what did I? What catastrophe will happen now that I've said that? I'm glad that all of the characters in this game are already said and done with outside of the programming part. Whoa, 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 who's this Gerard guy? I'm sorry? Guinea pigs? Do you mean, like, actual guinea pigs, or do you mean test subjects? So, did they turn people into guinea pigs? Because that sounds like an episode of Goosebumps. The one where they all turned into dogs. Uh, Leon, I think you're more lost than I am. And that's saying something. So, DNL Industries is probably moving to France then. <laughs> Well, maybe you shouldn't have bought all of them then. Go return a couple, make rent. I've already released my comments on how much money she spent. <laughs> Just saying. Oh my god, Natara is totally losing it. She's losing it. I think we found Dina 2.0. Oh my god, am I actually gonna have to edit this episode? <laughs> It's been so long since I've actually had to edit an episode. This should be good. Oh my god, we can give Dina a call. Oh my god. Oh, 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 ho, oh, oh. oh, we gotta see what this does. Oh, we've gotta see what this does. We're probably going to rewind it, but we've gotta see what this does. We've gotta see what this does.
And who knows, it might be good enough to where I'll just roll with it. <laughs> she said it. She said it. The power of irony rained down upon this fool. Oh my god, what if we could romance Dina? What the fuck? I I can't believe I never considered the possibility. This idea intrigues me. I thought we were going to go for Hunter, but this idea intrigues me. Is that a thing we can do? Hmm. Wait, what's all that? Oh my god, no. I was about to say, what's she going to wear? But then I realized, oh god, she's going to talk to Natara about it again. Oh god. Okay, at this point, that might as well just be my goddamn catchphrase. I'm saying it all the goddamn time without even realizing it. Are you not 21, Alion? Oh, there we go. So, again, about my saying about she has nothing to wear, oh god, she'll talk to Natara. Coming into play again. Why do I get the feeling that, that half of the things Natara made us carry are for Alion? Why do I get the feeling? Okay, I was gonna say, did she dash down the hole in her underwear? <laughs> Natara, it's a fashion emergency! Nightclub glows! Activate! <laughs> Oh my god, Natara, the fashion police. Oh god, no. <laughs> Anything but Natara, the fashion police. Uh-huh. Famous last words. I'm going to a place that has beer, but I'm not going to drink. Famous last words. <laughs> now watch as Natara invites herself along as well. Oh god, no. I just realized something. Natara is going there purely to spy on them. Oh. Oh, this is so going to end in such a hilarious way. I don't think I'm going to rewind this. <laughs> this is too interesting to rewind. Only one of them is a maniac? You're talking to a maniac, and you're saying only one of them is a maniac. <laughs> you're talking to a fashion maniac about another maniac. Ah, see, there we go. We're, there we go. <laughs> I think I've played this game too much if I can predict every plot twist. 
<laughs> I think I've played this game too much. Okay, so now we're definitely going to not rewind this. <laughs> Natara is an animal girl. We gotta see what she turns out as. We have gotta see what Natara turns into. Oh my god, what if she turns into a terrier? Like a little tiny terrier dog or something. Oh, this is this we have to see. This we have to see. This is not getting rewound if my life depended on it. <laughs> Natara. God damn, she's, she's the best character. She's really like Dina. Oh my god. Natara, what the hell? You're like Iron Man or something. It's just like, I invented this five months ago. I knew this would come in any eventually. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, so where's the genie in a bottle reference here? <laughs> she kind of looks like a genie. Oh, magic lamp. Grant my three wishes. God damn. Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. I say roll with it and see what happens. That's all I can think of. Roll with it and see what happens. So again, we've proven that Natara is not just shopping for herself. She's shopping for Alian as well. Natara, I really think you should switch over to the fashion industry, especially since you're from France. I really think this is the thing she should do. Oh my god. Oh, of course, Natara's going as is. I wondered about that. When she didn't change outfits, I'm just like, yeah, she's probably going as is. Oh, God. <laughs> We're walking over to the hot nurse. And then there's Dina. <laughs> it appears to be yes. <laughs> I never realized how weird Dina looks like in that dress with that hairstyle. Oh, that's right, Natara hasn't seen their new selves yet. Oh, God. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what, are the, what weird, bizarre thing are they gonna say now? I'm just like, oh. Cliché. She's the one making Elyon look fashionable this whole week. <laughs> She's surprisingly good at it. Well, maybe not surprisingly. Hmm. Oh my god, it's been 25 minutes. Oh my god. Oh, we should mention, Natara is huge on conspiracy theories. She just, uh, we convinced her not to bring her tinfoil hat. If that gives you any concept. <laughs> How do I admit it? I'm warming up to Allianz nightclub style. I'm kind of warming up to it. I mean, the bracelet definitely helps. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but she's wearing a bracelet on her her right hand, which to us would be on the far left on in the corner there. I don't know if anybody else has actually noticed that. Oh, there it is. You can see it right above her name. Not. 
I never put two and two together on that. No, Dina's has a different midriff. It's got the necklace. As you can see... Oh, sexier. I thought it said mine's sister. I'm just like, what? <laughs> mine's sister. That's actually a good question. Which one is sexier? I have no concept for this, especially when they're anime characters, so I don't really have a concept for it. Okay, so Dina goes with Natara then. That's what I'm hearing. Harmless. Wink. Okay, here we go. What crazy shit's gonna happen today? Okay, have fun with Natalia. Have fun with Natal- Stop that, computer. I just plugged in a damn flash drive so I can put the videos onto my editing computer. Oh boy. Drunk Dina plus Natara equals possibly awesome. Well, you gotta remember, Lynn used to be a guy. I can put two and two together real fast. <laughs> what? Fair enough. She is a succubus, after all. And Lynn appears to be her target. Nah. Two redheads together just don't mix. Like I said, they just don't mix. They're way too bullheaded to mix. How did they get the I with the double dot? I've been trying to figure out how to type that forever. Yes it is. Yes it is. Natara, go talk her out of it. <laughs> She's throwing them down like they're sodas. To be fair, doing that with a soda, not very wise either. That gas will be coming out like you won't believe. Then when it goes through your nose, yeah. she's hitting on the bartender. She is hitting on the bartender. Wow. Now keep in mind, for those who do not understand the concept, hitting on means flirting with. Good, now Natara trusts them. Ha 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 ha. Now keep in mind, of course. <laughs> I'm far, far worse when it comes to my ideas than Dina. Dina's just better at making them become real life. So, with that horrible thought in your minds, it is time to end the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all for watching. As always, I hope to see you all in the next episode, next series, former series, so on and so forth. And again, I've already covered the Twitter thing at the beginning of the episode. But again, for those who do not understand the concept, description. Click show more. 
scroll down to where it says my Twitter. It takes one scroll of the wheel. Click the link. Read the first five posts. And then click the X. Not difficult, is it? If there is something not weird going on with my channel, like, hey, where's the video for today? Scroll down, click, read. X button. Not difficult. Not difficult in the slightest. It takes longer for you to type out your YouTube message than it does to do that. I don't care if you follow me. But if you want to know where the videos are, that's the place that has the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, good day and good clicking.